Illinois residents must wear a face covering when they can't practice social distancing, but the face coverings can lead to irritation and in some cases a rash. Dr. Michael Greenberg with the Illinois Dermatology Institute joins us now with some tips. And doctor, I guess let's start with the difference between maybe homemade masks or masks that are made out of cloth and these either N95s or the non-surgical type. Well, most people aren't wearing N95s. We don't get them in the office. They actually belong in the intensive care unit or uh, down in the emergency in the ER. But people are getting these kind of masks, this kind of stuff. Right. And I made one up here to tell you, I'm here for you <laughs> to take me off sometime because <laughs> you trap all the moisture and saliva next to your face. And in my office, we've been seeing patients with rashes. I see people actually walking down the street with nobody 100 feet around them wearing their mask. That's ridiculous. Take it off. It's okay. Give so, your face a rest. Well, we've seen tons of pictures of folks, you know, our, our healthcare workers who are wearing them. When they take it off, they've got rashes, bruises, and the whole thing. How do we take care of it once we get that mask? You talked about how to prevent it. Once we get it, what do we do? Well, what you do is you want to use a gentle cleanser and moisturizer. There's a product called Cetaphil Cleanser, which is easily available in the drugstore, and CeraVe Moisturizers. If you really get some, some problems, you can use Vaseline. But the thing you don't want to do is use alcohol or witch hazel because mm -hmm. those will irritate your skin. It, it, actually, this is like a diaper rash. You can even use Desitin diaper, maximum strength diaper cream, if you're really getting a problem. But those are the N95s. I'm talking about the average person who's walking around with one of these. Um, and wearing it all day long, traps saliva. And what I have seen that really scares me is people taking old prescription creams from past visits to doctors and using them on their face and causing even worse problems. Mm -hmm. People use anti-cancer medication um, or things that are, are making it worse. So um, if you really, you can go to the store and you can buy simple moisturizers. You can even buy 1% hydrocortisone cream, which is available without a prescription. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't work, call your doctor or is, call your dermatologist. Right, is there another thing to consider with the laundry detergent you're using if you have a homemade mask that you're washing? Well, first of all, if you have a homemade mask, it should be soft cotton, it shouldn't be anything itchy. I mean, I've seen some ones that are really beautiful, but the fabric's irritating. And yeah, you wanna double and triple rinse those things. You don't want soap detergent trapped in that mask that's gonna leach onto your face. Um, we've had just so many patients come in with rashes and not know what they were from. Most of these will not leave a mark though, right? I mean, will they go away once you use the no, creams that you suggest? Simple, those simple things will not leave a mark, absolutely. Um, but you don't want to end up with, uh, for instance, what we call perioral dermatitis on your face, which is like acne, which could leave some permanent marks. So you got to give breathing time when you're home, when you're walking out alone, take it off, you know? Hmm. Are you, running, are you running into uh, patients who are having other issues as a result of this uh, quarantine? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I have patients and myself whose hands are just irritated from hand sanitizer and overwashing. Right. I, I, I go through gallons of it a day. Um, and uh, yeah, we can treat that too. And the important thing is we're doing teledermatology these days. You can call our office and don't necessarily have to come in. We can treat some of these mild things over an iPhone or a telephone or Zoom. So, you know, we're, we're here for you and we don't want you to get infections when your skin breaks down on your hands or on your face. There's no reason to be uncomfortable, but like with these masks, give them a rest, hmm. you know, especially when, when there's no one around you. Before we let you go quickly, we just have a second left. What do you use for these dry hands, doctor? Um, I use a good moisturizer. CeraVe is a moisturizer, C-E-R-A-V-E. It's wonderful. It has ceramide complexes. Look at my hands. They look awesome, don't they? Oh, they're gorgeous. And I wash them 10,000 times a day. Wow. All right. Well, we appreciate the insight and the information, Dr. Michael Greenberg. Thanks for the time. Thank you.